Got my glasses. Those are important. You're going to get to actually see everybody. That's right. Can we point out that you are wearing a white shirt? What are the chances that we are ever going to see you in a white shirt again? Uh, the chances that you're ever going to see me in a white shirt again are pretty slim. The chance that you're ever going to see me in this shirt again is pretty much next to none with none on the bus. <laughs> I mean, I, I can almost guarantee you there's no way this shirt makes it home. I love this shirt. I bought it on clearance at lifeisgood.com, but it's white and Joe is a slob. <laughs> That's the bottom line. It, it's going to get something on it, but it's Dr. Seuss. You've got to right. wear Dr. Seuss to go to Universal Studios. Did you pack your Homer Simpson shirt? I did. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is TwoCrazyKetos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we go on vacation and Joe can't say the letter K, <laughs> you'll be alerted to it. Good morning. It is Thursday, May 12th. We're late. We're not late because we're driving. We don't have to fly to this meetup. <laughs> we're in our home state of Florida. We're, we're getting ready to meet people who are going to be going on the, the low carb cruise. Yep. And so I'm taking my time. We're relaxing. So we are headed up to Orlando, uh, but it's Thursday. The cruise is leaving on Sunday. There's a pre-cruise dinner, which we are going to go to on Saturday, but we're going up to go to Universal Studios. We have annual passes. We're going to be meeting some people there tomorrow. Some of our subscribers like Heath and Shelly. I am so stinking uh, excited. We're excited about that. But I say we're late because normally when we go off to Universal Studios, we're like leaving no later than 5 a.m. But that's because it's usually a day trip. We need right. to be there and back. You want to get value out of a three-hour drive. Right, but we are staying over. Right, so we we're staying all the way to Sunday. We have plans. We have a hotel and a bed. So yeah. So we can... So we're, later. we're going to take advantage of the fact that we have annual passes where you can just kind of come and go as you please. And maybe add the water park to it. I'm wearing my bathing suit and That's hopes. the plan. We're going to go over there today and see if we can add that in. Volcano Bay, I think but is their water yeah, park. Yeah, it's nice to, to think that we're not in a rush. I mean, again, we're a little bit later than normal. <laughs> We're leaving, it's about seven o'clock right now. Water park opens at 10. But because we're slowing down, I'm actually walking out the door with our toothpaste, which we were not gonna be doing if I had jumped and packed what I packed last night. That I is very true. totally would have had some nasty stank breath for meeting everybody. Yeah, and Rachel's talking about the case because I have my new upper Partial. Yay! So you'll probably have already seen this because this vlog will be probably out of order, but um, it's just weird because it's got big plate across the top of my mouth, and whenever I say keto, it it just reverberates. It's 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 very odd. You're I, so I'm cute. hoping this goes away, but you sound like middle school. If nice. I'm if I'm being honest, Thank you you. you smell you, you smell you <laughs> you talk like uh, somebody that has a retainer. Uh, Which I had one of those. Yeah, but this is going to be a year. I'm, I'm hoping that this will go away. I think you're cute. I'm, I'm honestly not super happy. It's still causing a little bit of an ulcer up in the top corner. But listen, I got what I can. And Teeth. we weren't expecting having to do this two days before going off to Orlando. Teeth for the weekend, though. Yeah, although I wouldn't be going. If, if I couldn't have gotten a tooth to replace this front tooth that she pulled out, I would not be going. Your toothless Joe yeah. is not showing up here. Why do you have those gross Crocs? Oh, because we're going to the water park and I need a set of Crocs. Those are and the these are my old ones. Worst the, ones. These are my cheap ones. And cheap, they're actual Crocs, but... We got these at uh, Bell's Outlet where they were only $15. The dog has grabbed them. One of the straps is missing. Right. I wanted to bring my good ones, my favorite ones, the Star Wars ones. 
But my thought is, is that, you know, some of the water slides, you have to leave your footwear at the bottom of the hill. Do you think someone's going to steal your, your Crocs? I'm, I'm worried that somebody may take those Star Wars ones. Because they're super cool. So you're Because taking, they're really cool. So I'm going to no take these. No one wants these. So if somebody were to take these, like, no big deal. It's kind of like when we travel, we like to travel like on an airplane with travel size things, either that, or we bring like a bottle of shampoo that's half empty. Right. Or we get something when we're there. And then what we like to do is if we bring like a half empty one, when we come home, we just leave it. Right? Yeah. It's so much better than having things to travel we back and forth. really care like about. That. So yeah, I mean, I don't want to lose them, but if I lose those, I won't be as sad as if I lose the actual Star Wars ones that I have. Right. So we're gonna head out the door. We're having a little bit of coffee. Um, this is 40 ounces of coffee split between two of us. This is actually our second cup each. These cups hold 15 ounces. And I've got a, a travel coffee coming with us. And then there was drive. one tablespoon of butter and a packet of the chocolate element inside of here. But uh, we're going to finish this up, grab our cooler and head out the door. Before we get going, I wanted to show you what we're taking along with us on our trip. So we've got our electric cooler here. We actually did a review for this a while back. We'll put a link for it down below. Um, but I wanted to show you, we're bringing our own ghee because we make it. We've got it. We should link the video to that. We're bringing some keto chow. We're bringing keto brick. We're bringing lots of canned chicken breast. What's nice about that chicken breast is it's got a pop top. So you yeah. don't even need to have a can opener. And it's great for in the hotel room. Like, hey, we don't feel like going out. Open up a can of chicken breast. You can get mayonnaise at pretty much any gas station. But I, this stuff is so flavorful because it's real, you know, chicken and doesn't have a bunch of wonky ingredients in it. I can actually eat this without mayonnaise, which I feel like is a testimony to how good it is. Oop, I dropped the keto bricks. We're bringing Nola bars because those are Joe's absolute favorite. We're going to bring some lunch meat with us because, again, we have this electric cooler. We might as well use it. Of course, we're bringing uh, pork and good... Uh, pork rinds. We're bringing our Redmond Relight. We never leave without that. I always have that when I'm um, in the park. I like to eat it like a pixie stick usually when I'm in the park. Uh, we, we, we're bringing some liquid um, sweetener. This is the monk fruit organic sweetener. It's caramel macchiato flavor from Sweet Leaf. We got it when we were in Vegas. Yeah. Um, of course, we're bringing some MCT oil powder. This is the vanilla flavor of Perfect Keto. That's a great way to do your coffee in the morning because it mixes so well. More bigger, my, my good English, more bigger pork and good pork rinds. We're bringing some little pepperonis. These guys you can get everywhere. I've even spotted them at the Dollar Tree. So they're a good find to bring along. We're bringing sausages because this will cook up in the little tiny microwave that we have. And I thought that this was really cool. It's sliced cheese, but it's blue cheese. So this is gonna be action packed. This is how I really like to have cheese. If I'm gonna have cheese, I don't really want provolone, if that makes sense. I want things that are gonna be really action packed and that's gonna give a lot of flavor to whatever we're eating. Don't forget this. Oh yeah, that, well that's in my, it's in my purse. That's like always with me. <laughs> 24 hours a day. I always like this. And I actually like the chunky one like this as my small salt. They sell one that's even smaller, but this is just my favorite. And then in addition to that, we've got uh, the keto crate that we just did a review for. Yes. This box was loaded with treats. Another box of electrolytes that's orange salt because Redman doesn't have orange. Redmond. We need some orange, Redmond. Yeah, we need orange, and also I want a chocolate. And then uh, we have two blender bottles for keto chow and also for our electrolytes. And then you've got flip because got to have coffee. Well, mini flip, and then we've got a little flip for Joe, but this is also can can act as uh, overflow for, for Rachel. Rachel's multitasking. I am. We're going to have a little bit of Redmond. I'm in the chat. Editing Joe, we are parked in Spider-Man 154. So if we are still looking for our vehicle when this video goes out, that's where <laughs> we the know car where is. We're at. So we made it up here to Orlando and we decided uh, we have annual passes, 
but they also have a water park up here, which we've never been to, and we want to explore it. So we're going to go find out about adding that on to our annual passes. Since we're here for five days, maybe and, we can get here a couple times. And anniversary. Are we going to go on that big giant thing behind you? Eventually we will. I don't know if today is the day. We may go like later on into the weekend. But yeah, we're here at Volcano Bay, which is Universal Studios water park. We went ahead and added that to our tickets. I feel a smidge guilty that we didn't bring the kids with us, but it is our anniversary and I feel like this is the perfect gift. I think something's going to happen because I hear a, a building climactic music, but this could be the water park version of the dragon over at Universal Studios. So I'm not sure, should I anticipate something's gonna happen or just stand here for 45 minutes? I think you should keep talking until something happens. 45 minutes, wait until something happens. Is something happening? Sounds like the calm republic. The waves are getting bigger. Okay, at least there's something. I was hoping like some giant pile is, oh, there you go. There you go, waves. I don't care what it is, I just like knowing that I saw it happen. Don't you want to live out your wildest dreams? Cause right now we've got everything that we need. No time to waste, no better place to be. Cause we could wander as far as the eye can see. I wanna take you with me. Where do you wanna go? Imagine the way it could be if life was an open every chance and I think we should do it all while we can so follow my lead pick up your feet and dance it's never too late to tear out the page let's make a change of plans I wanna take you with me where do you wanna go imagine the way it could be if life was an open How was it? It was super fun. Usually I'm leery 
of those kind of slides because not only does it drop you down, like the floor drops out, but also it puts you in that capsule that reminds me of like a casket. So I don't usually like those slides, but it was really, really fun. The only thing is you have to keep your head back, but then it's sort of bobbing along the water slide. So not my absolute favorite one, but I'm really glad that I did it. And I got a fun way to get my steps in. Yeah, you talk about a non-scale victory. Those stairs. That was a lot of steps walking up. And if you just told me, hey, we're gonna get on the step climber at the gym today, I'm like, no, thank you. But if we have to go up to the top of- Yeah, cause we're going all the way up to the top going. of that thing. That's a lot of stairs and that doesn't bother me a bit. And also if we're like camping and there's um, some sort of a boardwalk that has an observatory tower where you have to like walk up those steps, you know, uh, or lighthouse or something like that, then I'm fine. So I think the best, the key for me, the best right. thing that I can do is to link my fitness to fun. To fun. I need to have fun. I need to be doing an activity. Like I was talking to somebody last night, I believe it was Karen, that um, for me, strength training can be bowling like a night of bowling instead of date night being a restaurant date night being bowling every single time that i'm like picking up that ball and i'm competitive so i want to be joe so i want to do really well you know i'm then i don't mind it right so link it to fun uh there was a runaway shopping cart that was headed toward a stranger's car but i saved you didn't it. Do it like i no i didn't do it it was from like the total wine place but I just saw it heading towards somebody's car and I hate getting scratches on my car. I try to park in such a way that I don't get my doors banged up. So I had to go and protect our car. So we are headed into Texas Day, Brazil. Yes. Ready to meet some people and get some hugs. Good morning. Good morning. It is about 7.30 in the morning. It is Friday the 13th. Oh, is it really? Yes, the news just made me aware of that. Wow, well, we're headed over to Universal Studios. We're gonna meet up with a bunch of subscribers. Uh, we had the dinner last night. Uh, we went to Texas Day Brazil, there were about 18 people. It was awesome. It was so fun. I'm gonna apologize, we didn't film anything. We were like too into the moment and we never took out our phones or our cameras or I anything like that. I am totally okay with that. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. Texas Day Brazil was amazing. The staff was amazing. They were super accommodating because, you know, when we called them and made the reservation, they're like, listen, just let you know, like restaurant policy, only three checks for a group, whether the group is six people or 24 people. And we're like, oh, that might be a problem. Yeah. And the manager called me and said, we're going to work with you. Just be present, you know, patient. And we had we an amazing staff. The people who were coming in were awesome. We were getting like fresh meat. Our glasses were never empty. Uh, just an amazing experience. So if you're in the Orlando area and looking for Brazilian steakhouse, we highly recommend going to the Texas Day Brazil. Highly recommend. So Rachel had some breakfast. I just got down. I'm having just a little bit of sausage, probably some sugar in this, uh, and a hard boiled egg. I've got some Redmond Relight, watermelon Relight, get some electrolytes in when we get over there. And I picked this up last night at Wawa. We're gonna try it. This is Starbucks triple shot. It's Zero sugar shot. energy. Uh, this is black coffee, vanilla flavor. Zero sugar. Uh, so there's uh, sucralose in it, and number one ingredient is Starbucks coffee. Some seeds. So some different energy things. The nutrition facts on this is 25 calories, uh, zero fat, one gram of protein, five total carbohydrates, but that's because it's coffee and it's triple shot. There's car there's carbohydrates in this too. You have about one and a half carbs in that cup of coffee yeah. right there. So I'm okay with these carbs, especially because we're gonna go walk the park and probably get five to 10 miles in. Let's try this. What do you think? Oh, you're not gonna tell me yet. They were on sale two for five. Okay. It's, it's, Pretty tasty. it's got a nice vanilla flavor, but it's definitely got a good coffee kick to it. It's got a coffee kick. Yeah. I will I will say that. And I am drinking black coffee. So if <laughs> something that is added to black coffee can make you feel like you have a coffee kick, then there's a there's a kick in there. And I got a few snacks over there that came out of the Keto Crate box. I'm bringing a bag of pork rinds. We got these cheese puffs. Uh, we brought these protein cereals. 
and that, and I think, oh, I have a Nola bar in there as well. And, oh, and those. So just something to walk around the park, because generally when we go to the park, we don't eat. We don't like go to restaurants or anything. It's too expensive. I'd rather just wait and have like a big giant OMAD meal tonight. Yeah, and um, if you're going to the park, I recommend these type of bags. Yeah. These type of like- Carry all. Like, but really good quality one. Yeah, and you want to bring a small bag because uh, a lot of the rides in Universal- You have to put your stuff in a locker. You have to put locker. stuff in a locker before you get on the ride. So you don't want to have to pay for a big locker. Yeah. Because the little ones are free. But so the big ones you have to pay for. So. Leave the big purse at home. Yeah, so we like bringing those little bags. So we're going to finish eating and head over to the park. We are here. We made it. It actually seems a little bit busy. There was more people in parking than I anticipated, so I'm kind of, I'm a little bit nervous. You know, I want if we're going with other people, I want those people to have an awesome time, and I want us to be able to get on rides quickly. Is is my first thought. One of the benefits about being an annual pass holder is if we don't get on everything, that's okay because. We can come back another time. So a lot of times we will come early in the morning and we'll get on whatever we can get, but we, we won't wait on long lines. Like I am not a line person. And then we'll come back maybe later on, but we don't feel the need to have to stay here from the second the park opens to the second the park closes. But, but when you're bringing somebody somebody's who has time. paid for a single day or two days or they live on the other side of the country, you want them to experience everything. So now it's it's up to us, the experienced universal people. It's a lot of pressure. To plan the trip so that everybody can get on everything. So yeah, you wanted to talk about your shoes. Yes, I don't know if you can get them in the picture here or can lift them up high enough where you can see them. <laughs> But definitely, uh, you want to have the right tool for the job. So, yes. um, I need a pair of those shoes. I'm trying out these uh, new Hoka's. Super thankful for them um, because they do feel really good and they make the walking experience really nice. So I'm more apt to get the walking experience in. Does that make sense? That makes sense. What did you do? I did well. Um, what did you like it? Did, did I thought it was amazing. The only problem is I'm a little wakey, uh, shaky right now. You definitely because I even get messed up, like I said, when I'm uh, in the shower washing my hair. So when was the last time you were on a roller coaster? Probably ten years ago. Wow. So that was just too robust. What was it? How did you feel getting on a roller coaster for the first time where you can like fit in a seat? I was ecstatic. I love the fact that they have the seat testers too before you actually get on. Yeah, yeah. that really helps. I, mean, I did have to kind of squeeze in because I still am wide. That's okay. How'd you do, Shauna? Awesome. Yeah, she hates it. Front row. I haven't been on a roller coaster in 32 years. Wow. wow. And I squeezed in. I was tight, but I kind of liked being squeezed in there. And I was sitting there. 
I felt Great secure job. in the front. And I opened my eyes a few times. Good. How did you do, Blue Dove? I did good. I Pete said right before we went to watch my glasses, so I helped him. <laughs> yeah, I yes, the whole time. So we finished one entire side of the park, and then we took the train, the Hogwarts Express, over to this side so that we could see Diagon Alley. And now the Florida heat is raining down on us. So it's gotta be about like 90 or more degrees right now. So we're actually gonna head back to the hotels and get ready for dinner at Texas Roadhouse. So we are at Texas Roadhouse and I got a 16 ounce um, prime rib. So did Joe, same thing, with cheese, mushrooms and onions on top and then we got two of these loaded broccolis basically we just order whatever is the side of broccoli and order it like we used to order a baked potato so we put um not cream cheese sour cream cheese bacon bits all of the butter everything that you would put on a baked potato we put it onto the broccoli we talk about meat candy look at that meat candy that is like part. pure sugar to me. Most doctors would say that's a pure heart attack, and not for me. Why are you holding your toothbrush in your hands? Because I want to discuss what I like to call the Rachel Blue Dot Syndrome. I do like a blue dot. I like a blue dot that says like, you did what you were supposed to do and, and you get your blue dot because- And I make fun of it. you for it. I know you do. Okay, well I'm suffering from the Rachel blue dot syndrome, but for a different reason. Well then it's a Joe blue dot syndrome. Okay, so here's, here's the thing. The dentist recommended that we switch, or at least I switch, which means Rachel has to switch too. Yeah. To an electric toothbrush. Right. And I, she's like, but you need a good one. And I really researched. I did not get one from her because I didn't trust that she was going to like upcharge me for it. There it is, right is that, there. Is that bad? Like, well, hey, you don't know. Turns out she wasn't, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, so trust anyway, issues. she recommended the Oral B, but I wanted to know is the that's again trust issues, right? Is the Oral B better than the she Sonic? Working for for Oral what B. reason? So I researched and researched. I ended up getting this Oral-B IQ-9, I think it's the, or the IO-9, whatever it is. It's cool, and it's got a couple of cool things. I'll leave a link for it down below. I bought it on Amazon, but one of the things it's got, you talk about, like, blue dot syndrome, so it's got this light that lights up, and if you press on the, press on the toothbrush, see how it turns red? That means we're pressing too hard. Too hard. If I press green, and it's green, that means you're pressing just, just right. right. And if you if it's white, then you're not pressing hard enough, you're right? Just, you're just airbrushing what you're doing. But it also times when you're using it. Okay. okay. And, and actually, this one will actually give you a map on your phone. I do not know how this works, but it does work. Like a map of, of your every mouth? every tooth. And it will show you the tooth you miss. Like, you didn't brush this tooth hard. I know. I don't know how it works, but well, it works. I, I kind of need that because I know that I am super aggressive about the front. Right. And then sometimes no, I, it, I don't it maps out your back, mouth back as you're going. And then if you pull up the app, it'll actually show you which teeth you did not hit enough on. So that's kind of cool. So anyway, if you use it for two minutes, it gives you a smiley face. Right. But if you don't, look... Look it's at like that a face. sad face. And look, one eye bigger than the other. Ooh, like if you mad. go more than two minutes, the eyes turn to stars. Oh, like, oh. And so, you want yes, that? I want my blue dot. I put a lot of money into my teeth. I want my blue dot that for you're brushing my teeth. Them properly. And when it gives me that sad face, because here's the thing. I don't really need to brush my teeth for two minutes. Because when I take my partials out, I only have nine teeth. Right. <laughs> But you want to get the full. But it doesn't know that. It, it, so to get the smiley face, I just basically have to triple brush. You're brushing those nine teeth like it's and, nobody's business. And if I feel like I've brushed long enough and it's only like in a minute and a half and it doesn't give you a smiley face, I want to throw this thing across the room. Because it's like Is that not really fair. bad. Yes, it's really bad because so, you're you're having a relationship with. I have a relationship with my toothbrush. What are you doing? I'm getting myself a fork and a spoon. Okay. We came downstairs to uh, have some breakfast. What's on the bar? N not that much today. They had some sausage. <laughs> Yesterday they had turkey sausage and they had pork sausage. Today they have what I think is turkey sausage and this I suspect is vegan. Yeah. So it, it doesn't, 
as soon as I took a bite into it, I'm like, that's fake meat. So we're not eating that. I, Rachel's having some strawberries. I got two of those sausages and then realized what it was. And then I was like, I shared those with the trash. Yeah. And then she's got some eggs. And then they had, I got two strawberries. This was Look at those. two strawberries. They were like giant strawberries. And, and that's a serving. Like two strawberries. two strawberries. That's a serving. A serving uh, is an entire pint of strawberries. And two eggs. Uh, so then we got some coffee. And then this is why we travel with this. Perfect Keto MCT oil powder. This is vanilla. The reason we use this when we travel, even more than Keto Chow, is because you can put it into your flask. Like, you know, our Two Crazy Ketos coffee mug. There's a link for these down below, by the way. Um, Shake it. I'll tell you what. That's all it takes. We have a bunch of those. So if you use the link, let's see, what's the coupon going to be? 2KK orlando yes for one week from the time this vlog comes out we'll do 10 percent off of all of our flasks oh, and fun. mugs okay. how's that yes. so all of our flasks and mugs so these flasks your regular flip the flask flag mm -hmm. and and also the ceramic mugs 2kk orlando for one week from the time that we put this video up. I like that. So anyway, back to Perfect Keto. The re what happens is, is because this is such a fine powder, you can put it in there and either a coffee stir or a good shake and it blends it really well. It emulsifies. You don't have like that layer chunks. of oil on the top. Chunks in it. You don't get the chunks. <laughs> it gives it flavor. It gives it fat and it gives it some sweetness. So it's perfect. Rachel really likes the peanut butter, but we brought vanilla today. Uh, I also have a Zip Fizz. I'm drinking, because these were two for five, yeah, the other one of these uh, Starbucks trip. You can't just buy one, right? They're two for five or three fifty dollars a piece. Two. You gotta buy two. Right. So it was pretty good. And then since I didn't care too much for breakfast, I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg and I'm gonna have some of this nootropic keto bread. I broke off, believe it or not, these are hard to cut with a, a plastic butter knife. Yeah. They well, don't cut that well. Thought? So I'm gonna have about that much. I'm gonna tell you that's probably about 200 calories worth. So it is Saturday. We just got over here to the park. Thanks to Anthony DiPatrio, we've got a beautiful Homer Simpson shirt for Joe to wear. Thank yeah. you so much. I, I'm wearing my offensive shirt to a lot of people. You don't win friends with salad. That's true. But that has been our experience. So uh, we came over here to Islands of Adventure because we're going to go on that the, right there. Right. That is Velocicoaster. We, we walked around the park yesterday with Heath and Shelly and Shauna. Susan, Susan, Susan. So we had a great time. A lot of them are relaxing today. We want to go on that. That is the best ride in Universal Studios. If you so. came here and you can only go on one ride. That is the one if you are a roller coaster enthusiast. I like Hagrid the best though, so I'm gonna vote Team Hagrid. So no. I feel like we've gotta we gotta go to the other park though also today because I wanna ride that ride. Yeah, so well here's the thing. If you are a theme park enthusiast, if you've been to Universal, let us know down below. Hagrid's motorbike or Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster has two takeoffs. I mean look at that thing. That thing is amazing. So anyway, we're gonna go do that. I think actually Hagrid's is in this park too. It is in this park, but it's usually like a 200 minute wait. Yeah. So so we're gonna go walk around. We're gonna see if we can beat yesterday's steps. After we go on Velocicoast, we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna kind of hang out over there for a while, right? And then we have the speaker dinner, or not the speaker, the pre-cruise dinner tonight. But before that, I'm gonna crush you on Men in Black. Are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Yes, I'm always ready. But Look at I have that. to sit in the front. It's we worth waiting in line. I don't single rider this ride because chances are you're gonna get like toward the back. I can't risk it because I, it's a totally different ride in the front versus the back. As soon as I said no single rider, then we decided the line was ridiculous and we're gonna do single rider. Well, the line was 50 minutes long. Yeah. So we were like, okay, let's do single rider. So there's two of us. So I said to Rachel, listen, here's what we're going to do. When we get up and it's our turn, if the single rider has to go to the very back, we'll just turn to the person behind us and go, hey, you go ahead of us. Why don't you go first? first before, <laughs> please, you first. So we get up there, it's our turn. The first person for the two of us, single riders like row four or five so rachel goes 
So he loads it all up, and I'm like, I guess I'm going to be on the next tram. And then he goes, okay, single rider, row 12, last row. And then both me and the person behind me, like, row 12. Were you okay? It, honestly, this ride is so smooth. It's one of the only roller coasters where I can take the very... Because usually the back row is more bumpy. Yeah. And this one, it's listen, it's a little bit bumpier compared to the front where it's, like, smooth, smooth. as butter. But it's not herky jerky. Like if you go over to that, what is that, rock and roller, whatever it's called over there. Uh, rip ride rock. Rip, yeah, that one cannot do the back row. But this one is so smooth. And honestly, in the back row, when you go over to that second loop, you get a lot of air. Like yeah. you're out of your seat. But it was a lot of fun. That's just such a long ride. So it is worth the 50 minute wait. Absolutely, it is. And usually, this is one of the lowest lines in the park because it's, it's a scary ride it's for some people. It's daunting looking, yeah. So yeah, when you get a ride like at Hagrid, which is 150 minutes and over here, it's I've never seen it more than an hour, ever. So we're gonna go over to the other park now. I actually saw it. I actually saw it breathe fire. It happened. Where's the video? Well, I didn't have my phone because you were getting the stuff out of the locker. If there's no video, it didn't happen. I keep turning around and you're gone. Sorry about that. I like, I see something shiny and I go towards the shiny thing. How'd you do on Men in Black? 187,000 points. The guy sitting next to me was like, dang. And I'm like, I raised three boys in this park and mama is the most competitive. Okay, wait a second. Every time we ride on this ride, I beat you. Where's the video proof that you just got 187,000? Come on, single rider, you're gonna have to trust me. I don't wanna have to go back and find that gentleman. There's no video proof. I am gonna be getting my picture taken with one of my crushes from way back. Love this guy, so excited to get my picture taken with him. We just got back to our hotel. We had a great time at yep. Universal Studios today. It was just fun being relaxed and, and going on just the rides that we wanted to. We had right. to be really strategic because we wanted to have time to get back and just kind of relax a little bit before the dinner tonight. While we're heading over to the pre-cruise dinner for the low carb cruise. I am so excited. I have the handsomest date already. We haven't even gotten there yet and I know that my date is the handsomest and i think we clean up pretty good for some old folks well you look amazing thank you I very much i can't wait to get over there so super excited it's about a 30 minute drive so let's head out of here you look hot thank you i think you're a little bit biased though well no you look hot and i'm not even talking about just the fact that it's 96 degrees outside <laughs> that is true the way that we are going to change the world and stamp out these unnecessary chronic diseases no is first i'm going to fix me mm -hmm. then you're going to fix you and then you go fix him. That's right. There you go. <clears throat> and so on and so on and so on. That's how we're going to do this. We are going to change the world. We are going to make the epidemic of type 2 diabetes, fatty liver, obesity, hypertension, we're going to make that go away. And we do not need the American Heart Association's help to do that. Or the ADA or the AMA, okay? Uh, if you'll get with me later, I'll have a few choice words for those three organizations, but I'm gonna keep it clean tonight. But if they wanna jump on board sometime in the future, they're welcome to. Yep. But they need not uh, think that they're gonna hijack this and act like it was their idea the whole time. Good morning. Good morning, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So uh, we go back to the hotel. Years. We got back to the hotel last night um, after the uh, cruise dinner 
and we were exhausted. We didn't get back till like 11 o'clock, so we never turned on the camera. But We hit the hay. It was yeah. a lot of fun. It was just nice seeing everybody off, talking to all of our friends. It uh, was so awesome. Had a great time. So we're going to go to the water park today. And uh, beforehand, we're going to have some breakfast. I am really enjoying these. I know. So I saw I the like, Wawa yesterday and got two more of them. I like getting a sip. I like a sip. Yeah. My sip is on the top. And There's then, supposedly a chocolate one, but I can't find it. Then I return to the hot coffee. So Rachel's having coffee and then one scoop of the Perfect Keto MC2 all powder vanilla flavor. Hot or cold? What is your first morning coffee? Is it hot coffee or cold coffee? It's normally hot coffee for me. Normally. Yeah. But I'm just enjoying these. And we're on vacation, so this is a treat because I would not be spending $3 a day on these at home no. normally. So, and I also, we're, we're going to go high energy day because we got a water park day and then at a three hour drive home so i'm also gonna have a zip fizz along with that breakfast they finally got it right with the pork sausage thank you yeah yesterday they had some kind of like vegan sausage yuck and then they had turkey sausage which is another yuck turkey sausage by the way a lot of times has more sugar in it than pork sausage same thing with turkey bacon people think turkey bacon is healthier but there's usually a lot more sugar in it. So be careful if you're looking at those like low fat bacon. Who wants low fat bacon? Not this girl. And also like the turkey sausage here has like a ton of like sage in it to the point where you cannot taste anything else. It was like a mouth bomb of sage. Speaking of low fat, I have to mention this because I don't know if I got it on camera last night, but Dr. Barry was talking about for everybody going on the cruise, mm -hmm. he's like, there's 5,000 people on the ship and they have out this like carved roast beef. He's like, here's the good thing. There's only 186 people, which is the people going on the low carb portion of the cruise that want the fatty cuts of meat. So he was like, you're gonna have plenty of fatty meat because everybody else on the ship, they don't want the fatty meat. I we like that perspective. We want the fatty meat. Yes, we do. So, uh, okay, so I'm gonna have three pieces of sausage and I'm gonna gamble with this pre-made omelet that is really fluffy. I'm gonna take one bite and I will immediately know what's in there. Yeah. Uh, and if not, I'll just eat a hard boiled egg. I and, went hard boiled egg route because I just, it was gonna, too fluffy. It was we're gonna go over fluffy. to the water park and then we'll close it out on the way home. So when all else fails at breakfast, they usually have these cups of cream cheese and just eat like a couple of tablespoons of cream cheese. It's good, it's cheese, it's fatty and it's really delicious. So this is a first. We actually got here for early park admission. Yes. Like we were here before they opened the gates. So we headed straight over to the Aqua Coaster because this is like the most popular ride here. This is the one I was looking forward to and I was like, if we can get on this on our anniversary, I'll be super tickled. Normally they said it's like about a hundred minute wait when you don't have to wait on the lines because it's happened, but now we can ride it more than once because we're the first people getting on it. Well, we are heading home. I had a blast and we got a lot done today. We got here right when they opened, so we were able to go on that one like water coaster three times. 17 flights of stairs. That's amazing. We, I mean, I think we're like over six miles at this point. I'd have to stop and, and look. And we had fun. I wasn't ticked off about it. No, but it's like two o'clock. We're gonna stop and get Buffalo Wild Wings and eat that on the way home. We're getting dry rubs to make it like not so messy in the car. Uh, but my allergies are starting to like act up because like change in temperature, water, like the cold, the room was really cold. Perfect storm. But we're also like, it's about to rain. Like if you look at the sky, it's starting to get dark. We're, we we're getting to into it. that Florida summer. It rains every day at three o'clock. Right. So this is the perfect time to head home. We got about a two hour and 45 minute drive home. Then we'll relax this evening, but I still have to prepare for keto on the couch tomorrow morning too. So still a lot to do, but we're gonna enjoy the rest of our anniversary day. So uh, Missy there. Yes. We need to stop packing <laughs> like we still own a crossover truck. I know. We have a small car now. I, I think I'm doing pretty good. It's still in my momming nature to make sure that we're prepared for anything, right? right. And everything. I, it was like, I, I tried to combine that word right there. It was like everything. What if it rains the entire time we're here? I need outfits. What if it is more sunny than I expected? Outfits. So 
I want to make sure I have everything. All I know is that we're going to do a trip to Austin, Texas, which is going to be like three or four days more, and you have to figure out how to consolidate and bring less than you brought for this four-day trip. I think what I'm going to do is... Because that's a long drive. We need to have room. I'm going to take a play out of Joe's playbook, and that is just buy clothes as we're here. He's like, you know what? I want shorts. So we just go to the store and get him some shorts. Or, I, you know what? I don't Whatever like this bathing suit. Do. Let's just get it. It's, it's going to be... Some of it's planning. I mean, but it's just like our food, right? You got to plan ahead of time. Yep. Uh, so, uh, we got back to the car. Uh, hopefully the air conditioner is going to dry out my nose a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm really hoping for. Yeah. I told about 50 people when we were in lines today, allergies, not COVID <laughs> allergies, not COVID. Cause, and you would see their countenance completely yeah. change because they're on vacation. They don't want us ruining their vacation. So they were just like, okay, allergies. I forgot about those. I have those too. So right. yeah, they're totally cool. So interesting note, um, we got back to the car. We looked at our like watches. Rachel's is, is 17 flights of stairs, but mine was what? 20, One. 21. So we're going to go with 21. Yeah. Uh, I think you, you move your arms a lot more as right. you walk and I don't. So that may have, you know, an impact on it, but about six and a half miles. So that is pretty good for a vacation day, right? right? Like got a good workout and had fun on a vacation we treated ourselves to exercise yeah it just like snuck it was like it snuck up on us so we're gonna head over to pick up our buffalo wild wings we'll show you what we're eating and then we're gonna close this out okay we got our wings rachel's here, enjoying them we are putting the blue cheese on the wings i just realized we pulled into wawa so i can fill up my big giant cup and uh we're also gonna get some water and I was like, oh, maybe I should look and see if they have like some Claritin or something to dry me out. And I realized from our Utah trip, whenever I travel, I always have like some Flonase or something in my backpack. I think this is going to save the day. Because the last time we got on a plane, I actually started having an allergy attack. And it does. It freaks people out, you know, nowadays with, you know, the C word going around. Uh, so I will shoot a bunch of this stuff up in my nose <laughs> and hopefully that'll dry me out for the drive home because yeah. usually the only thing that really, really works, there's two things that works to dry out my allergies. Bee pollen, mm -hmm. like we get some local bee pollen. It's like this powdery stuff and I eat like a teaspoon of that or black honey, like the dark honey. For us, it's avocado honey. Uh, either that or go to bed. That's go usually to bed. the only thing that's going to dry me out. <laughs> And we're not going to bed because it's our anniversary. Well, also, you have to drive home. Oh, well, that's true, too. Okay, we're going to end the vlog right here. It's been a lot of fun. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we have an anniversary, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. bye.